Okay, so in the last video, I asked you to change the icons and the text. I believe you've done that because I did it behind the scenes. So let's continue building our project. What the next section we're about to build now is called the about section. The about section basically tells you of there's your viewers of your services of what the company is about and your services see an example of what you are going to build so we are going to build this section we are going to add a divider like this we are going to add a button and we are going to add this blob image after we finish building that we are going to build this services section so let's go and start building it now so to build it the section is a two column section so click on this plus icon and select this two column this two column icon so i want to build i want to build this part of it first i want to build this part then i'll build this part later So let's go and build this now. So, so drag in a header test. We are going to see about us. about us so let's quickly style that want to change it to black i'm also going to change the the typography from roboto because if you remember we use poppins for our headers and we use roboto for our body font we select pop pins just going to increase the size a little bit let's make it about maybe 35 we are going to add a divider beneath this so click on this plus icon to select the element and I'm going to drag a divider under this so I'm going to style the divider well, I'm going to start by reducing the width of the divider then I'm going to change the color go to style tab color I'm going to pick this green so use the color picker to select this green this one here click on the plus icon again I'm going to drag in a text beneath this where I'll be adding I think we need to change before I add more elements. I need to change the background because it's supposed to be black. It's supposed to be black, so I need to change the background. So before I do that, let me change this text to white. That you can see it after I change the background. So I go here, which is the main the parent container element. I go to the style tab, click on classic. I select the color the background change to black so we can see what we are doing now okay so click on the plus icon to select your text editor i'm going to drag it to the bottom uh to the bottom actually 
So I'm going to select copy text from here. Actually, we have another soap. We have another soap here now. I'll add this later. So I'm just going to get rid of this one now. And add it there. I'm going to style it. Change the color to white. I want to copy this. I want to duplicate this for our second header. I want to drag it beneath. It's not going to drag it beneath this. So I'll go here and copy this text here. I know you don't have the text, but what you can do is just look at it and copy. Or if you have your own text, you can use it as well. Although there are dummy text you can use, but I don't, I don't think I like building with dummy text because it doesn't look real. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the size of this soap header. So to do that, go to the style tab and typography should be be like 21 i think 21 looks good enough um this style is not is not styling i think we change it to to white Sometimes these glitches happen. I think it will, it will normalize when we refresh the page. So for now, let's move on. I think there's a button. There's a button at the bottom. So what we want to do, we don't have to create another button. We already created, we already created a button. But I want to put that button in another container to make it independent. So drag the container widget to the bottom. I'm going to copy this button here. Because we've already designed it, I'm going to be using the same design for cons consistency. I'm going to paste here. The little thing we are going to change is the text. So click on this icon. The text says learn more. Learn. Learn more. Later on, I'll teach you how to link these buttons. Or we could as well just do it now. So this learn more, this learn more button, I want you to go to the contact page. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So when you click on the learn more button, it will go to the contact page. To do that, click on this link icon here. Start typing contact. It will show because we already you see contact page select it it will populate that section with the link so on the live website when you click on this lemma it will take you to the contact page i think i have to do the same thing for this when you click on this one too i want to take you to the contact page as well so we've not added the link before so to add the link Click on it, go to the content tab, and where it says link, you type the name of the page you want it to go to and wait for it to populate. So when you click on that, it also goes to the contact page. So click on publish. I 
and you can also preview your live site let's go ahead and do that now so to preview click on this eye icon to preview your changes so this is this is what we have done so far to preview your changes click on the eye icon so let's go back to our home page this I'm going to delete this and because it's not it appears not to be working so I'm just going to recreate it let's delete it and recreate it okay just i think there's no need to delete it what i want to do i just reset this dial and click on the color to see if it will change and it's still not changing i think that there's a glitch somewhere but let's just Let's just delete it and add that element again. So drag in our test editor here below this. And I'm going to get rid of this and paste that. Go to the style tab, change it to white. As you can see, it has worked now. Sometimes these little glitches happen and when it does, you have to resolve it like this. So still on the style tab, let's see if well, I think everything looks perfect like this. I'm just going to increase this a little bit and I'm going to put it on two lines instead of one line. I think that is how it is on this one yes two lines so remember the trick i taught you just add b arrow angle bracket b arrow angle bracket closed to get it on two lines and i want to increase the size a little bit let's make this uh Yeah, I think this looks good for now. I don't want to spend too much time here. And for this one, you can also adjust if you feel the distance between these two elements are too much. You can adjust, can click on this one, go to the advanced tab and give it a negative margin. Give it a negative margin. I think that's how you use margins, but I don't want to do that because it might cause some responsive issues but you can do that if you feel it's too far from each other later we are going to be adding some spaces to these elements i'll show you how to do that in a bit so we are done with this section we are done with this section for the next section we are going to add in an image so click on the plus icon drag in the image widget here and choose an image we are going to upload our image remember that i'll give you all these images so i'll put the link to download images in the description we're going to use this one here so click on select Let's go to the style tab and
if you look at this demo page you see it's like a blob so to make it like this go to you go to the advanced tab and you select You select mask so you turn on the mask feature and you change the shape to to blob that's how you do it then you can change the position to center left or top center or top left to fit the image you're using. I think center left looks good. Center right, center left. Center left looks good so I'll just leave it like that for now. You can also play with the you can also play with other features here. Okay? So I'm not going to waste time on that. Let's click on publish to save our work. So what if you look at our demo site you see that the the images the columns are reversed columns are reversed so i want to do that now it's very easy to do i just purposely design like this because i want to show you how to reverse the column so to do that click on this dot icon here go to layout layout you see row reversed click on it and very easy to do so another thing I want to do I want to add a border to this column let's go to click on this container icon and go to style then go to border border type select solid uh, so unlink this so I want to add the border to the right so I'll just keep it like maybe I'll give it like one pixel give it one pixel to the right you can see the white border has been added you can change the color here yes maybe you want to make it a green I want to make it green but I'll just leave it a white I'll just leave it on white And just like that, we are done with this section. So click on publish. But what I want to do, if you notice, there's no space. So to, to add space to the section, click on this three dot icon. Go to the advanced tab. We're going to add some padding. So padding is space around the elements. We are going to add padding to the top and the bottom. So unlink this value. So at the top, I want to add add hundred pixel. And at the bottom, I want to add hundred pixel too. So as you see, the space around this element, so our design can breathe a little bit. You can also add some some little space on this element too. So go to the advanced. I think it's too close to so unlink this. So on the right, I want to give it a padding of say thirty pixel. And on the left. 
30 pixel as well so you see the space and the element can break you can add some to the top to the top i might as well give like maybe 10 and the bottom i want to give you like 10. so that's how you add space to elements so i'm going to hit the publish icon so we are going to be building the services section next They're going to be building the service section. So if you take a look at our demo page, you see we have these services here. Then we have individual services elements here. And this is very easy to do. So it's a two column section. So go here, click on this icon and click your two column, another two column section we want to create. So for the first one we have a heading and a survey in just and a text just like we have in this section so we are just going to duplicate that and use it as a template so i'll come here i'll come here and copy this and paste it here let me quickly change the color to black so we we'll see what we are doing i also change the content to services think that is what you call it here services explore what you have to offer way to copy before I copy that test, let me copy I'm going to copy this divider here and paste it beneath this so as you can see we are using elements we've used before no need to create new element I'm going to copy this subheading and this is very good practice because it ensures consistency in your design you don't want one element looking too different i'm going to paste this i want to change color quickly to to black i'm going to go to the content and replace it with this All right here okay. get rid of this and paste that in now i'm going to break this now i'm sure you already know how to do that so beneath this you already know what to do we are going to drag in our text editor so go here and click on text editor drag it beneath this let's go here and copy if you can't copy all of this you can just use a dummy text this is this is an example of a dummy text so when you have your own content you can replace it i want to get rid of this and paste that in just like that Let's go to style and change the color to black. And the typography is Roboto already. And I think everything looks good. Everything looks good. So to build this section it will take a little bit of time and patience so but i'm going to show you how to do that now that we are done with building this section let's go ahead and build this section so we add another container here click on this drag another container here 
Okay. So make it full width. I change the width to 33. 3 pixel okay so there's something called an image in an image box we used an icon box before but we are going to use an image box click on this plus icon to search for an image box to drag and drop it here We are going to go. I'm going to copy from here. Let's copy from this one and get rid of this and paste that here. I'm also going to eliminate this and use this copy from here. and paste it here now let's select the image I already have this in my media select now we are going to style it I'm going to style it so go to style I want to add a little bit space in between the elements. As for the image, go to the content and this color will change it to black. Typography is poppins for the header as usual. And work it bold. I'm going to make this one bold. Then for the title, for the title spacing, I'm going to give it a little bit more space. I'll give it more space. So for the description, we are going to change the color to black again. And typography is robot two already. And maybe increase the size a little bit, like maybe seventeen. So what I want to do? I want to add a little post shadow effect to this column here so to do that go to the style tab and click on border see the one that says boss shadow click on this pencil icon and the effect will come into play and I'm going to change this to reduce this to about four or seven or five I think five looks good now that we've created this we've created this one I want us to duplicate it because we are going to duplicate it into four places so click on this one and hit duplicate click here again and hit duplicate Click here again and hit duplicate. So we have our four. In case you encounter some difficulties, sometimes you see this parent container is wrapped. You click on, you see this wrap, click on wrap. So the, the boxes will wrap around each other. If I unclick it now, see what will happen. 
to not look so in case you run encounter this problem just know that it's not wrapping so you click on the parent container and you click on wrap so you can wrap around each other that's the parent container and click on wrap and make sure that the parent container is boxed and the child containers are full width so if you do it like that it will surely work so what i want to do is to add some i want to add some space around this element so i'll go to the main container click on that three dots go to advanced click on padding so at the top i want to add like 50 pixel and 50 pixel at the bottom now at the bottom let's say 70 70 pixel at the top i want to add like 17 again or 80 at the top let's just make it 100 because doesn't doesn't look good So that's how you add space around element and if you look at our demo site you see that there is a background effect here i don't know if you can see it but it's quite visible so i want to add that effect to this background so to do that to do that i'll add a color to this background Go to style click on classic background color make it white if you don't add the color to the background it's going to be transparent and it's not going to show on some devices in my experiences so background overlay that's where i'm going to add the image click on classic and select an image so I'm going to upload it from my media. So I think this is the one we used. This is the one we used. So open and select it. So we are going to style it so it look nice image size default position set it to center okay now we are going to reduce the opacity because i don't want it to be too too loud so we reduce the opacity a little bit zero point this this looks good please don't mind my voice is very early in the morning and i'm recording so that's how you add that background effect i'm just going to leave this like this for now so hit on publish you can play with the settings later i don't want to dwell too much on this as you can see our website is coming along nicely it's coming along very nicely this is a highly professional website if you build this for anybody or any client they're going to appreciate your work Okay, so let's move to the next section from our demo website you can see our next section is adding the brands that we work with the brand that we work with here yeah. so let's quickly do that so to do that 
click on this plus icon select this one with the arrow facing here and change the color to click here these three dots you should already be getting very good at this click on classic then change the color to background color to black So click on this plus icon, drag in our divider, our divider, drag that in here. Change this to solid and I'm going to style it a little bit. So from black, change it to white so you can see what you're doing. So I want the weight to be like maybe 1.3. So we are going to add in a text in between this divider. So click on text. So the text is going to say meet. Meet our partners. So let's go to the style tab again and style the text. So change it from this color to white. Okay. Then typography is on. Uh, typography, I want it to be Roboto. Roboto. Think that text we made a mistake. Well, there's a little mistake there. Let's meet our partners. Meet our partners. And for those icons, I want to drag in another container at the bottom so click on add element drag in yeah. drag in this container and place it at the bottom So I'm going to drag in this and place it at the bottom, just like that. All right, so we're going to add in the logo images. To do that, click on this plus icon, then drag in the image widget here. I'm going to select from our media i've already uploaded this one click on select so what i want to do i want to copy i want to duplicate this image All right so let's go ahead and duplicate like maybe four or five times duplicate this so i'm going to go into the background and change these images the same way i did for the first one so as you can see i've added all the other logos i expected you have done the same what we want to do now, we want to make it aligned side by side with each other. You see, it's stacking on top, but that's not the design we want. I believe you already know how to do that. So click on this container icon, then you go to layout. So you see the arrows where the arrows should be facing. So to make it aligned, just click on this row horizontal arrow. 
and there you go you can also change the format you can change the format so what we are, we are going to add some space in between this element so click on the container again go to style I'll go to layout see where it says gap between elements if you look this elements are not on the same line so to put them on the same line click on this align items you can align it to the center or you can align it to the bottom but I want to align it to the center because it looks better so another thing I want to do I want to add some space I want to add some space around this element especially at the bottom so to do that click on this three dot icon which is the parent container go to your advanced tab click on on link this padding icon then at the top i want to add like 20 pixel of space at the bottom i want to add like 30 pixel i think this is enough space Think this is enough space so so the next section we are going to build is the the team section the team section is where you display the members of your staff or members of your team and we are going to add their picture and we're also going to add their name and their portfolio and links to their social media so how it works when you click on this LinkedIn icon and to take you to their LinkedIn or to their Twitter account so let's do that so we're going to build our services section let's take a look at the demo page this is our team section rather so we have this team section so let's learn how to build it so we're going to add in a container this one here okay and we're going to train some let's copy from here i want to copy from from here to avoid starting it again paste that paste that thing change the color to black so you can see what you are designing It's aligned to the left, so I want to align it to the middle. So you align it to the center by clicking on this icon here. And our team says meet the S part. our team i'm going to change this style change the transform it to capitalized i'm going to copy this divider here and paste it at the bottom I'll paste that at the bottom so I'll align it to the middle I want to reduce the size the width reduce the width a little bit 
I think that is enough. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to duplicate this, duplicate this, and drag it beneath this. I'm going to copy the text from here. Meet the else parts. Copy and copy and paste it right here. Okay. So we are done with this section. The next section is to create the is to create the team. To create the team members. So to do that, I want to drag in another container. Click on the add element icon. Drag in another container below this. And I'll put another container inside here. So add another element, put another container inside. Make this one to be full width. And reduce the width to like 30. Okay, reduce it to 30. 30 is good enough. So I'm going to add drag in our image widget here let's go and upload our first image for the first team member i'm going to select Let's select this one right here. And upload it. So I'm going to create add another container inside this element. Okay. So go to the that's what we have. That's where we have another content. That's where we have this name and the portfolio. So I'll drag in another container. We need this one. And I'm going to change the color. So click on the container icon. Go to your style tab and change the color. Change the color to Black. Okay. So inside here, I'm going to drag in block header tag. Where I'll type the name. Let's copy from here. Copy from here. I'm going to paste this here. Align it to the center and change it to white. I think I want to reduce the size a little bit. Then 20 is pretty more. So I want to duplicate this that's to the portrait and I'm going to change this through. This takes right there. Build this portfolio. Investment manager. Pick this off and post to spare. So I'm going to change the color. This is our color picker to steal color for and with elements.
this one here. That's the color we want. And I'm also going to reduce the size a little bit. As I have things here, I made this like a six ton. So I'm going to add the social media social media icon. We need this. So click on this add element icon. Click on the add element icon, search for social, social icons, drag it and drop it inside. I want it to be beneath this one, so I'll just uh, so I just want only linkedin and youtube so i'll edit this click on this pencil icon get rid of this youtube get rid of this facebook so click on add item you go to go to the icon library and search for linkedin this is it so you click on it so click on insert so what you want to do in this scenario, if you have your social media link, this is where you paste your link. But I don't have any link, so I'll just put a hash there. Because I don't have any link. Okay. So if you have your link, if you paste their link here, when the user clicks on this icon, it will take you to their social media. So I want to style the social media icons. I don't want it to be like this. So go to style. I want to change it from the official color to custom color. So the primary color, I want it to be maybe black. Okay. A little bit black. Just like this. I want to be the shade of black. I don't have to do too much on this. Then the secondary color is the color inside here. So I want it to be white. I think this is visible enough. And I want to give a little bit of space at the top and the bottom. To do that, click on this container icon, go to advanced tab. But then at the top, I'll give it, let's say 20, 20 at the top and 20 at the bottom. So there's space between these two elements. Let's see how we can fix it. Let's see if I can fix it using this. Okay. That's fixed. So gap between elements, you go to the parent container and if you want more space, just drag it. But for this design, I want it to be like this. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on publish so we can save our work. So what I want, I want to copy it into three places. Click on it again and duplicate it. Okay. You see it's stacking on top of each other. That's not what we want. We want it to be aligned. So to do that, all right, I think you already know what to do. Go to the parent container and click this arrow here. So what I want you to do, I want you to go, I want you to change the images on your own and the name and the social media icon. If you take a look at our example, change this, I've uh, provided the images, so change the images, make this one smaller and 
I want this one to be white, not black. So do that. I'll do it in the background and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, as you can see, I've done the changes in the background. Okay. So just a small, small adjustment. I want to make this icon smaller and I want to, I want to add some space between. So the spacing, go to the spacing, add like 13 is okay. We'll give it more space and the size. I want to reduce the size. So let's make it like 20. So I don't have to go and do it for individual element. I can just click on the pencil icon, click on copy and paste style. Same for this element too. Paste style. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to add the background to this section. To do that, click on this edit container icon, go to style, go to background type, click on choose image. I'm going to upload from our media, select this one. And click on select. Here you go. So it's too it's too sharp. So I have to reduce the opacity. So click on click on style. So before we do that, let's do some positioning. Make it center center. And make this cover now. Let's leave it at default. I like it like this. So I want to reduce. I'm going to reduce the opacity. Actually, I don't want to make it the background um, image. I want to make it the overlay image. So let's delete that. Let's delete that. So we add a color to our background. We add a white color to our background. Then we're going to say background overlay. So instead of making it the main image, I want to make it the overlay. So I'll select that image because if I make it the main image, it will be too, too sharp. So I just want it to be a little bit faded. So I'll make it the overlay instead. As you can see is if you make it the overlay, you can now increase or reduce the opacity as opposed to making it the main background image. And I think this looks good. The only thing that is left now is to add some space between this element. So you go here, go to advanced, padding, unlink this padding. I hope you understand how to use padding. So at the top, I want to put say 50%. Padding is basically space around items. So at the bottom, I'll put another 50, 50 pixel. And for this container, let's see if I can align it to the center. So it will be at the center. So let's hit publish. So in the next section, we are going to be building our footer. Then after that, we are going to make our sites to be mobile responsive. Because if you check now on mobile phone, this is how it looks like. This is how it looks like on mobile phone. It's not very nice at the moment. So we are going to fix this in the next section. We are going to make it responsive. It's not responsive as of now. So in the next section, we are going to fix this. Click on tablet and see it's not 
it's not very good but we are going to fix all of that in the next section